some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. Now, today's video was sent to me by a subscriber and, uh, well, it is not exactly your usual frauditor kind of deal. I call them a couple pseudo frauditors uh, because, you know, uh, they uh, are protesting uh, about animal rights and everything like that. A couple members of PETA, but they certainly do have the frauditor jargon down. And then there's even a point where somebody uh, out in the open identifies them as a pair of frauditors. And just like uh, frauditors, one of them ends up getting arrested. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Gary said we need to go inside and get somebody that they were annoyed for. How was your weekend? Uh, it was good. It was some well needed rest. Oh my god. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. Uh, good, how are you? Okay, you see, you see You're from the police. I'm here to protect my first amendment rights. That's so awesome. Oh, de it definitely sounds like they've had first amendment auditor training. Uh, they actually think that uh, the police are here to protect them, uh, uh, which a lot of First Amendment auditors tend to think until they wind up in handcuffs. So in the meantime, I'll continue to call them frauditors because, you know, the language sounds the same. I mean, they seem to fall under that umbrella of uh, verbiage. So, yeah, uh, let's continue on, shall we? All right. Uh, Are they causing undue public alarm? Uh, I'm not too sure. They called the chief. Who they did? No. Somebody here. They're friends. And and I've been told to use this to tell them to stop. Okay. So I need I need a citizen that's. Yes. Hi. Hey. Do you have customers that are annoyed? Yes. Okay. Can we talk to a couple of them? No, they're sitting at the bar. I'll let you guys know. And then the party upstairs, they just a bunch of doctors. They're like. Okay. Okay. We're here for the protest outside. Would you say you are being caused undue public alarm by the protest outside? That's exactly what I would say. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. We'll I was called a fucking idiot for walking in, and then when I turned to look at him, he said, fuck you. He I mean, he is an idiot. Oh. <laughs> cool. Well, I don't care who you are. I don't care if you're PETA or frauditor or whatever. Yeah, if you actually decide to get into somebody's face, uh, you just change the game. So, yeah, that might be the issue right here. They're being overly aggressive with anybody who comes in there. So now that we know that uh, they've apparently been a bit overly aggressive with their tactics, uh, let's go ahead and skip ahead to the point where the uh, officers, well, talk to these two uh, pseudo frauditors. Uh, and you know what? I've seen a piece of it so far, and... Uh, well, they definitely have all the jargon down, and they uh, fancy themselves uh, legal experts in uh, the Constitution. I mean, they're pretty much a mirror image of Chile de Castro. So let's carry on, shall we? A little longer than a few minutes later. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We need y'all to move on. Have you heard of the First Amendment? Or? I have heard of the First okay, Amendment. Okay, cool. So, okay, so what we have yeah. is with the purpose to cause public annoyance, you're making unreasonable and excessive noise. This is a this is a this is just an ordinance. That doesn't, this, that's, this is the, this is Arkansas state law. That doesn't supersede the Constitution. Okay, I can see what they are trying to present to these two pseudo 
frauditors. Uh, so let's just go ahead and flip it around so we can see what they're talking about. Okay, it is this particular statute right here. And, uh, well, yeah, causing public alarm. So all they really want you to do is just walk away. But unfortunately, these two idiots uh, are going to argue about that uh, until they get themselves arrested because, you know, they think it's on this uh, ordinance right here is unconstitutional. Well, first of all, this is not an ordinance. It's a statute. And, uh, dude, what uh, gives you the right to say something is unconstitutional? Because that's for the courts to decide. So if you want to take it up with the courts, then you go do that. You can uh, get all this on camera and, and follow up with the appropriate uh, courts. That way you can get your voice heard, but until then, you don't have a say of what's constitutional and unconstitutional, because, yeah, that is not your job, dude. Okay, Political protest. well, I'm, I'm telling you that you have to leave. What's your rank? Sergeant. We should get talk to your lieutenant, because this is a big I did talk to my lieutenant. And just right here. Okay. okay. What did Go I say? Go back inside for now. Animal abuser, total loser! What are you touching me for? Okay. What are you touching me for? Oh, uh, no, he didn't touch you, dude. He touched the megaphone. He just decided to bring it down because, well, it was quite close to his ear and it's at its loudest point near the, uh, well, speaker that was almost pointed in his general direction. So you'd think that it might have caused a little bit of pain in his ears? I mean, come on now, dude. I mean, you gotta think about these things. Do you come on now? Do you want to leave peacefully? We have a right to protest here, okay. and also in the city ordinance, there's an exception for amplifiers for public address. Oh, really? Now, okay. Uh, well, I ended up looking that up, and uh, I found two references to uh, amplifier devices within. Uh, Little Rock City ordinances. The first one being uh, from the University of Arkansas, the Little Rock campus, and it says that you need permission to use those kinds of devices if you're going to be doing uh, that kind of thing. And then there is the actual city ordinance that uh, well, still prohibits it. So, where are you getting your information from? Because I'm just curious, because are you just like these other frauditors out there who, well, really have a piss-poor understanding of how to do any bit of research whatsoever? Because, yeah, that seems to be fitting more and more when I uh, look at your, uh, well, claims. Right. We're conducting a public address. We have no intent to annoy anyone. This is a public, this is a, this is awareness. He said out loud that he was annoying people on no, purpose. I didn't. Yeah, you did a couple hours ago. You know, that guy said that. To no, you him. said that. I was listening. Why did I say that? I didn't say that. Why don't you respect our First Amendment rights and let us protest? Why do you want to be a tyrant? Well, it's the manner in which you're protesting that is the issue. Uh, you apparently have been getting into people's faces, and then there's the matter of using uh, the megaphones right outside of this establishment, which has been, uh, uh, well, annoying the customers to the point where where they're having to call the police. It's not the protest itself that's causing the issue because, yeah, if you're a P member as a PETA or a frauditor or anything like that, you can protest all damn day long. But if you're going to be, uh, well, getting into people's faces and everything like that, and using devices that are not exactly allowed at this particular spot, then, uh, well, that becomes the issue. And it's not a constitutional issue, you moron. It's a matter of, well, being a bit more respectful than you are. Because, you know, there's the old saying, you attract more flies than with uh, honey than you do with vinegar. I'm sure if you were a bit more cordial, I'm sure you'd get some supporters out there. I'm curious if you took an oath to the citizens of, of the citizens or to Cache. Because I know you took an oath when you became an officer. Yes, I did. Who did you take that oath to? To, to uphold the law. The and this is the law of, the Arkans of Arkansas. The Constitution is the supreme law of the yeah, United States of America. You're in a bad spot. Oh, really? If it's the supreme law of the 
United States, then why the hell is it so damn vague? And there's uh, just so many little issues like, oh, let's say the Tenth Amendment, which grants the states the rights to create laws that are not covered in the Constitution because, you know, they could not have foreseen every little thing to come, you know, so they prepared for that contingency right there, dude. So, yeah, uh, thank you very much, Mr. Constitutional Law Scholar Chile de Castro for, well, infecting these guys, even if you never met them, but thank you very much. I do this the Constitution the supersedes this isn't gonna, this isn't gonna hold up. any laws, any other this laws. Is this is the Supreme Law. Law. That's fine. It and you, public property. We're on public property. We have a right to use amplifiers for public address. But just a moment ago, you just said that, uh, it was the city ordinance that granted you those privileges, and yet I showed you where the uh, city ordinance did not say that, and now you're pretty much saying that you have the right to use those uh, megaphones. I mean, could you make up your mind, please? Because, well, uh, you're making yourself look like a complete incompetent moron, dude. I completely understand. I don't. I, I'm trying to use. As you can see, I'm being respectful. Yeah, I, and I appreciate that. And, I, and I'm, I'm just saying. I do this a lot. This is First Amendment. It's really cut and dry, man. Okay. I mean, this is. I under, understand what you're saying. I mean, I have, I have, I have to abide by this. So you, so you have a right to address people, right, in protest. But you are making excessive. You have a right to address people, right, in protest. But you are making excessive noise. To the point where you're wearing earplugs. The First Amendment doesn't talk about how much noise I'm allowed to make. Yeah, but you're wearing earplugs, and that's excessive. Noise. Am, but, the, but the law, the law, the Supreme Court has always said that the, the for Palestine had amplifiers out here last weekend. They were louder than these megaphones. You don't know what you're talking about with excessive large protests. With animal abusers, total murderers. The First Amendment doesn't talk about how much noise I'm allowed to make. Yeah, but you're wearing earplugs, and that's excessive noise. I am, I am. But the, but the law, the law, the, the Supreme Court has always said that the the government. Is able to um, determine time, place, and manner. With large protests with that were are actually disturbing. Uh, yes. Okay. Well, like if like we were in the street, I would completely agree with you. We would need a permit. Okay. We're on public property. Okay. So time, place, and manner. The law says excessive noise. You have been causing an annoyance on purpose, and you need to leave. You need to leave or get arrested. You need to arrest me? I'm yes. being detained? Yes, sir. You need, to, you need to leave or be arrested. What's your best number? 31050. 31050. Why do you want to crap on the U.S. Constitution like that and be a tyrant? Okay. We have a right to peaceful protest. a mistake, man. Okay. This isn't good. Uh, the good old so, First so, come on. Let's go. Ah, good old first amendment auditors are you being sassy back there uh dude i mean uh it, it didn't seem like you uh like these guys too much now did it and maybe uh first amendment auditors in general maybe you had a bad experience with a few of them i wouldn't doubt it you, you know you know it's all right pack up your stuff and let's go we have a legal right to protest here. Because I, because I'm there is an exception yes. in the Little Rock City and Ordinance and, and, for using and amplifiers the public for public address. We are making a public address. And because he posted at, at some people while, while doing it. Yes, hey, restaurant, you animal abuser. Is it, who do you think is more annoyed, the goose or, or the patron? Okay. I don't have a lot to uphold for the for for how people you, treat... You have the Constitution to uphold, man. This is a okay. chance to do that. Sir? This is literally your calling, dude. I, I you're need... you're literally going against I need it. You. I'm going to have to file a complaint with your badge number That's now. fine. Oh, my God. Who the hell cares? Oh, yeah. You're going to file a complaint on him for doing his job out there, considering that his supervisor sent him out here to do this job specifically? I mean, good grief, dude. Are you this freaking dumb? I mean, what good is a complaint going to do when it's pro they're probably just going to throw it in the garbage anyway because you're all butthurt about it? Speaking of being butthurt, 
I got a tube of uh, Black Heart Knight's butthurt cream for you, guaranteed to cure any pain in your ass. But somehow, I don't think it's going to work on you because you've got such a severe case of butthurt-itis. I don't think anything could help you out there. That's fine. You can file a complaint. You can appeal it. You can talk to the art, your legislatures. You're saying I can't. Y'all are doing a great job. You're saying, you're saying Stay safe. Y'all are doing a great job. <laughs> Says the drunk in the street. All right. So, so what you're saying is that I actually have to leave. I, not, not that I have to. I, you're saying that I have to leave the premises. You've been here for a couple hours, causing a disturbance and, and ca- purposefully causing an annoyance. And and your partner was cursing at people for no reason. And I can understand. Okay, and I'm so I'm telling you to leave. If you don't leave, we're going to arrest you. Under what one does it say we have to leave? Are we loitering? Are we breaking the loitering law too? Is it, you're saying that we're, we're breaking it's the law by literally just being here. If you refuse to leave because you have been bre- if if you refuse to leave when we're giving you a lawful order to leave, then then you have then we're going to arrest you. Order is not lawful. I would be happy to comply with any lawful order. I, they think that's dubious in this case. And I, what I'm trying to say is, man, okay. I, I've been told many times by police that hey, you can't have you can't have the megaphones. I've heard that before. Mm-hmm. I've never been told you can't even be on public property. That's never happened. To me, and I've been doing this a long time. I understand. <laughs> like, I'm, but because you have been causing the annoyance for this amount of time, and because he was cursing it at people, if they're annoyed. It's the intent. We have no intent to cause annoyance. I mean, we Sir, are, I think you need to read that statute. We are here to I've read that statute before. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, uh, every every state has that. Okay. <laughs> Every state in the in the uh, union has this statue, and it never holds up against the person. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's what they all say until they end up in court, and they actually find out that that's not the case in certain uh, situations. Yeah, uh, maybe this will be that situation you find out the hard way. You know that, and and, and you have the you have the right to complain. I have to do what I have to do. Is that more important than the Constitution of the United States? I, 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 I really, we have a right I, I, would, I would be really right to negotiate and say that I could put the, right the, the megaphones down. Too. But if you're really saying yeah. I have to go away, I will have to like, I'm going to do the complaint and everything. Man. That's it's fine. My, I mean, my ass, if you paint my ass, you paint your ass. Be I, I understand. Okay. I get it. But I can't, I can't let you stay any longer. And if I stay... One more time. If I stay, you will arrest me. You yes, will. sir. Okay. Well, I don't feel like spending the night in jail, so I guess I gotta go. All right, dude. That's fine. Yeah. No, I, I get that. I respect you. Yeah. Okay. Are you gonna leave? Cafe, restaurant, animal abusers, total losers. The police are on the side of the animal abusers. They just infringed my first, my friend's first amendment rights. So this restaurant can sell the disease. Sir, you need to leave. Cachet restaurant, animal abusers, total losers. Okay. Cachet restaurant, yeah. animal abusers, total losers. Sir, you have to leave. I'm not, I'm not breaking any laws. Okay. If you don't leave, I'm going to arrest you for disorderly conduct. How is my conduct disorderly? You are purposely causing an annoyance. I'm not purposely causing an annoyance. And, and you and you have screamed curse words at people in public and alarmed them. Cache restaurant, animal abusers, total losers. Cache restaurant, animal abusers, Sir. total losers. Sir, put your arms behind your back. You're a tyrant. If you say so. And you support animal abusers. Hey, Scott, can you get my shit? And, uh, can you take me up from the police station? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Should we take the bark backpack off first? You don't understand the US. We take the backpack off first. Give my phone to my phone. No? Okay. You don't want it out of the way? Okay. Do you want to leave any of your property with your friend? Yes, I'm here. I'm going to call Greer. Okay, we're going to I think that's about it. Should I take my phone? Take it, my name is Greer. Alright, cool. Thank you.
You're violating my first amendment rights. You're violating my first amendment Yes, you have. You took an oath to hold the Constitution and you're not doing it. Your sergeant knows it. Your sergeant, your sergeant, your sergeant doesn't feel good about tonight. And you care more about the rights of any more abusing scum than you do a better way. We can take him inside. Okay. Well, I'm just going to end it right there because he cries the same thing over and over again. And, uh, well, I really didn't care too much for that uh, part where his megaphone kept on saying, if you're uh, not vegan, then you're an animal abuser. Well, dude, uh, I hate to say this, but uh, you're probably one good reason why a lot of people don't want to turn vegan if you uh, have that philosophy in your life. I mean, I hate to say this again, but if you want to get more followers, you got to... Uh, be a bit more cordial than that. Don't shove it down their throats uh, like that. Oh, boy. When will people like this ever learn? So, at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?